Good evening. You know, I've done some wonderful videos in my time. Um, none of them come to mind, but I've done some great seasonal videos uh, in my time. I did that amazing summer one that last year that was so epic and slow motion, had boards of Canada on it. I've done that brilliant winter one where I pretend it's like a 1950s movie. I've done some of the most epic seasonal lists uh, on location you'll ever see. But for this winter seasonal list, I'm just in George's kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome back to the stage. It's Georgia. Um, you used to be in the fragrance business, but you cut out, you, lock, you lucky soul. Um, well done. And you also did my videos that one time, didn't you? Yeah. You can't call me an expert anymore, though, now. Not an expert. I've been gone no. far too long. <laughs> no. But some of these you may recognise, some of these are older fragrances. But today we're doing my top ten winter fragrances. So these are my favourite winter fragrances for 2021 to 2022. Um, and so yeah, this is going to be great. Are you excited? Ecstatic. <laughs> Good. Well, you better be. Um, right. So we're going to go from ten to one. Um, the first one that you even saw, you said, gave you the fear. Yeah. Uh, and so we're going to do it as we usually do. You're going to smell it. You're going to give your priceless, um, meme-worthy reaction, <laughs> and then you rate it out of ten. So number ten is A City on Fire by Imaginary Authors. I really do like this one. Um, the only problem is that people around me don't like it. Um, now, for, for those of you at home are like, oh, George only shows them the, the, he only shows them the opening, he never shows them the dry down. Well, let me tell you, I've heard what you've had to say about me not having the dry down, and today I'm going to ignore you even more, and I'm not gonna show her the dry down, <laughs> just the opening. I can already smell it, it's so far away, and I can already smell it. It's amazing. Ooh. Yeah. So do you know what that reminds me of? Gone. <laughs> Calamine lotion. Do you know the stuff you put on your chicken pox? Um, I had chicken pox when I was three. Yeah. And I do not recall if my mum and dad gave me <laughs> calamine lotion. So I had it four times. You had it four. You had chicken pox four times. I had chicken pox four times. And so this yeah. is going to be just you know great memories for you. Stuff that they put. Right. Like right. You not know, the cream. Okay. That's that. Well, Jesus. Um, that is that. I love, actually that smells so good on this card. Can you not get the, the burning match kind of thing in it? Oh no, I can get, yeah, I get the match, but on top of that, I just smell calamine lotion. All oh, right, okay. It's, is, it, is it as terrible as you thought it was going it's to be? It's not actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So in the summer, in, in summer evenings, this is actually really, really nice, especially in the dry down. It's actually really, really pleasant to wear, and I, I, I love wearing it. It's not bad. Okay. I, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I sure. thought it was going to be worse. Sure. Okay. I, I genuinely recommend this. I, I've talked about it so many times, but I love the, the fruity nuances of it with the fire. And I do kind of, do kind of get the chamomile, definitely the lotion, the medicinal kind of nature of it. But yeah, it's good. Out of ten. I give it a six. That's fair. Well, as I once said, I'm not against it. <laughs> I mean, we should get that on the t-shirt, shouldn't we? We should start merchandising that. Uh, I'm not against it. The so next one you might be against, though. This is Bahik by Rainier. Do love this um, very, very much. I did a video about this. Uh, this is the one where I broke into a Catholic university and shot a horror movie. Did you see that one? Did I tell you about that? I think you told me about it, yeah. Okay, okay, right. Well, this is that one. Okay. So this smells like um, greenery and soil. Um, exactly and, what you want yourself to smell like. And I just absolutely adore it. That'll, that'll help. Hmm. It is very minty. It is. Is it meant to yeah. be minty? No, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Maybe it's these cards. That's actually really, I don't know if my nose has developed or if it's these cards or something like that, but these are actually faring really quite well. Yeah, they are. I'm surprised. That's absolutely lovely. But do you get the soily, earthy element yeah, of it yeah, as well? Yeah, I get the earthy element. It's almost a bit limey as well. Okay. Okay. That's a, okay, you're wrong, but okay. <laughs> no, it's just when you say limey, I'm like, are you an Irish person calling it English? Because that's what the no, Irish no, no, used I mean, to like, call. No, 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 I mean like an actual lime. Okay, right, a li an actual lime. lime. Okay, lime and mint. 
Yeah, lime and mint. Lime it's and like mint a mojito. And, uh, a mojito. That's crazy. Mojito. I shouldn't. Bottle. I shouldn't have broken into a, a Catholic cathedral. I should have just gone to um, the Bahamas. Exactly. Lime and mojito. Tenerife. I say that's a six too. Different okay. Kind of okay. Six. Different. A different kind of six. Yeah. So um, I mentioned to Renier that uh, this would be on here. So he's given me a discount code to give to you for all of the Renier fragrances, Kisses Rain, Oud Rain, uh, Bahik, all of my favourites, and a new favourite. So it's 15% discount and the code is TFA15. And if you put it in the do you have a coupon code um, thing on the website below the fragrance, you'll get 15% off. So cheers Renier for that, buddy. This used to, this was actually my number one last year, but now I still love this. I still do love this, but I've had quite a few complaints <laughs> with me wearing this fragrance by a certain person in particular, might I add, uh, that has put me off wearing this. Um, but I'm intrigued to know. Okay. This has got oud. Oh, my fave. This, yeah, absolutely. Now, I just want to point out that some of these I will have to hide from you because I, I presumed that the past last three, you, you just didn't know what they were. You, no, you, you no. didn't recognize the bottle yeah, or anything no. like that. Okay, so I knew that, but some of these I will probably have to hide because you may know what they are. Mm. See, I would have said that was more of a women's oud. Okay, okay. It's got tea as well, the mm. note yeah, of tea. You can, taste, well, you can taste, you can smell the tea. <laughs> you can smell the tea, the tea kind of comes after, but it's quite sweet, so I would have said that was more what like you a just, Why don't you spill the tea? Oh. Just like that. <laughs> Is that what you've been saying to whoever's been complaining about this every time you wear it? Um, no. Yeah, I would have put this more in a women's category than a men's. Okay. It's it's not a bad oud. No. But it's a feminine oud, in my opinion. Um, I think that the oud can be a bit skanky at times. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it but... can be skanky at times. No, I said the oud can be oh, skanky. Oh, the oud can be skanky. How could you have mis possibly misinterpreted that? I didn't say, you know, Georgia, <laughs> fucking hell. She can be so skanky. Oh, hello, are you here? You know, Hi. Uh, yeah, um, no, <laughs> no. <Matthew. laughs> Jesus. No, the oud can be skanky at times. Okay. But yeah, it's good. Out of ten. Seven. Because as a women, like a women's fragrance. That's a, as a women. As a women. As a woman. Is that your pronoun? You're a you're a woman. I'm a woman. Right. Okay. As a woman's fragrance. Yeah. I would like that. That's okay. Absolutely. Banging. Oh, so wonderful. I wonder if you can tell me what it is. That's just amazing. I wore this on uh, Christmas Eve. Just so damn good. Such a Christmassy mm. scent. Christmassy. Yeah. It's not Christmassy scent. You think this is Christmassy? Uh, very much so, yeah. I'm well, what, what's, what's giving you Christmas? The ginger and the cinnamon. Oh, I'm on, I'm on the wrong side of the card, that's why. <laughs> Last, okay. Chris, last Christmas, <laughs> I gave you my card, but the very next day, you threw it away. Right, there's something in this that I don't like. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's... I think that one is a lot better on the skin, to be completely honest with you. Um, yeah. It's very warming. I know it's, it's... I wore it just the other day, and I just thought, oh my God, that's just... Uh, it lovely. Def I don't understand what you mean warming. Yeah. It's... What is that smell? There's, there's a... It's the background that so I've it's, got. Okay, uh, so this is cinnamon, ginger, vanilla. You know, a lot of these very gourmandy sweet. Yeah, notes. it's not the gourmandy bit. It's the. Like this is a... actually some. On this card, it's a bit like grass. That's the, that's the thing I'm talking about. It's like a background that doesn't quite match what it should smell like. I don't know. We might have to disqualify this whole list because of the cards. Who knows? This has been a wild ride. Fragrances that should smell harsh, smell good. Fragrances that smell pleasant, smell weird and backgroundy. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what's going really on. Bad notes. This one was Spice Bomb Extreme, which I think is very Christmassy. I wore it on Christmas Eve, but you're not so not so sure about it. But yeah, Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Extreme. They're doing really well at the moment, especially with then you release infrared. By the way, I give that one a five. Oh right, yeah, five. Five. <laughs> no, yeah, that's a good one. Good, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what it is? Do you know who it is? Um, I have smelt it before. You have? I 
want to say yep. Hugo Boss. It is. Scent. It is the scent. Yes. And it's the, it's, <laughs> it's, it's the scent private accord. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, so. Because that's why I was confused then, because I can kind of smell it, but also kind of not. Great bit of chocolate and a bit of coffee. Yeah, underneath it's nice. The scent, um, DNA. It's wonderful. Um, I bet that sits really nice on the skin as well. It's wonderful, and just that has been my main casual fragrance that I've worn throughout the winter. That's been my yeah. casual, people pleasing fragrance. Also, shout out to Ross, the bearded Scotsman, who messaged me and said that um, I think he started dating somebody because of a compliment he got from that fragrance. Ooh. So, well done, lad. Well Go, done. Ross. So, and that's out of ten? Eight. Eight. Oh, we're getting in. We're getting I'm in. being a bit more harsh this time because I feel like I was a bit too, like, I feel like I gave some, some strong ones last time. Okay. So being a bit more I think you have I think you'll have smelled this before. It's a bit lemony. Lemony? Yeah, like, like what's, I just... What's happening? Lemony? Are you not smelling lemon on that? Not really. <laughs> that's smelling a bit of lemon. For me, that smells... Do you know what it is? No. It's Francis Kurjan. The guy who did Lamel. Who's that, who's that mood? Do you know what he the... Uh... Oh yeah! Yeah, it's one of his. Yeah, for me that smells like, mm, It's a light spice. Light spice. Well, it's a lot, tremendous amount of oud and vanilla. Yeah, you can smell the oud. I think it's almost giving it a bit of a soapy smell though. I can see that And I that think that's probably why I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of like lemon, like lemon soapy hues. I will just have to take that away from you. If Maybe. You're, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be <laughs> behaving like that. You can smell the vanilla. Like you yeah. can smell um, the oud in there, um, yeah. but yeah, overall, I think it's just a little bit lemony. Okay. <laughs> here first, lemony. Okay, out of ten? It's not like me, it's lemony. Okay, out of ten? <laughs> um, out of ten, six. Oh, nothing is hitting you here, come on. Not. Very intrigued to... Because this reminds me of something really, really specific. But the, in the in the mood that you're in, this could go any any way, I think any direction. I have a bad nose. Don't take my advice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to me. <laughs> okay. No. 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 That is very. I can... This is my number four. This is so good. This has treated me so well. Um, well, this on the twenty first when we put the tree up. Um, this was just spellbinding. Love this. Heavy. Very, very, yeah, yeah, heavy. seriously heavy. I see some people who actually contest that. They say, oh, this is a, you know, not a very strong fragrance. To you, I say, I don't know what heavy. you're talking about. This is a heavy, rich, lasts forever. I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> okay, so I'll tell you what this reminds me of. Mm -hmm. When I was a wee lad, and I grew up. Here we go. I grew, I grew up in Scotland. Um, oh, did you grow up in Scotland? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. How could you not? Maybe it's sarcastic. I'm very. I'm proud of it. You know, I'm proud. I'm a proud what Scotsman. Are you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Um, okay, the new. When I was a wee lad, in uh, grew up in this old Victorian house, and my parents um, would buy those chocolate um, liqueur sweets. Yes, I right. know where you're going with this. And I once accidentally like bit into one, and it's that. It is. It's, it's like, that. It's like a cognac. It's a cognac. Yeah. It's a cognac. Now you've said it. Yes, it's a cognac. It, but it's like a chocolate-covered yeah, cognac yeah. sweet. Yeah. Okay. And of ten. Five. That's okay. Straight down the middle. This is my number three. This is brilliant. This is another wonderful thing from. Renier, this is Kaki. 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 It's quite good to say, Kaki. It is fun to say. So, this is wonderful. Same guy did the, the, the oil. The green one. The, the green one. <laughs> the green one, yeah. It's kind of like Spice Bomb meets Bahik in a way. I like that one. Uh, yeah, so it's like a lot more designery, a lot more brilliant. I think that this is 
this has been surprising in its wearability. I've really, really enjoyed just wearing it a lot. Um, it's very thoughts? fresh. Yes, and it has that fresh spiciness to it. Yeah, fresh spice. Yeah. yeah. I like that one. But I also like the depth. Mm. Yeah, no, I like that one. Thank you. Yeah, that is great. And it's sophisticated and there's lots of things going on. Again, um, TFA15, that takes you 15% off. Um, and that's with all the Rainiers, every single Rainier. Um, it's TFA15 that'll give you 15%. But this one is another great fragrance in the Rainier collection. Now this next one. That one's getting an eight, by the way. He's getting an eight. All right, after <laughs> Hey, good, good. But this one, look at that. Whoa. Look at that. Do you know? Do you know who these bad boys are? N no. These. <laughs> I'm scared to ask. No. Um, they're Zerjoff, and they've been around for a while. But okay. they're the company that Creed are afraid of. These are the. This is the company that is even niche for Creed. Look, you guys have bad hands. It is. I'm really interested with this because. This looks kind of like powerful and, and, and masculine and everything, but it, it's actually a little bit feminine. Like my in. skin. <laughs> no. Just, to me, that's just jasmine. Yeah. Like a lot of floral just, jasmine, yeah. That's just pure I think floral. that the only problem is, is that it is missing on the card honey. There's a lot of honey in this mm. and a bit of tobacco. I can kind of get the honey tobacco now. Right. It, it's missing the spice. Right. That's too floral. Yeah. For what? Well, for like oh, a, a male like fragrance. So, well, I don't know. I like it. I like the. I like the candy. There's a bit of sweetness. There's candy. Sweet. There's not enough spice, but there is some candy sweetness there. No, I just smell flowers and honey. It's like a Winnie the Pooh story, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I've been wearing that an egregious amount. The manly man that I am. <laughs> Out of ten. Six. Oh. Sergio, 400, I'm so sorry. You don't deserve that. We're, we're down to my number one. Ooh. Okay. Wait, that got number two? That's number two, yeah. That you're calling number two, actually. Yeah, easily, easily. I love this. Yeah. I love this. I've been wearing this so much over winter. Listen, all right, think about it this way. Wearing that, it's freezing cold out. Like, you know, the, the coldest of the cold. You wear that, it warms you up, and it's nice, and it's pleasant. and Makes you sneeze. And finally, at least you're honest though, you are honest, and, and I, I would expect no less. Right. You'll know. You'll know this. Okay. You will know this. Okay. What is it? Cardboard? Yes. Yeah. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll, all right. It's tobacco vanille. That is one of more. Yeah. Good. Winter. It's such a good shit. That's a winner. It is, yeah, yeah it is so damn good. Look it's good. just vanilla e. I don't... A bit of licorice? A little, like a tiny amount. No, like if you smell it all together, it smells a bit like licorice, but in a good way. Okay, I know, actually, I do know what you mean. Yeah. What you're getting is the really tangy, yeah, zesty yeah, it's nature. Yeah, like licorice. Like yeah. licorice, okay. Licorice. Up to, up to a point. So and much. I don't even like the taste of licorice, but... Oh, no, this is... Because it's got the good. chocolate as well. It's like licorice and chocolate yeah, and vanilla. And, yeah, this is uh, my number one. Uh, this has been number one before on my winter list. Um, apologies for the... I took this bottle to Estonia to, to record a review. Oh, I was really going to play this Yeah, and that is, uh, that's what happened to it. It, it got, it got beaten up quite bad, but it was worth it. It was a great video. Out of 10? Nine. Yes! We really did it! This one. Yeah. We did it. Well, of course, I mean, it's, it's a classic. It's almost cheating, really. Um, but there you go. Those were my uh, top 10 fragrances, with fragrances for 2021 to 2022. Hope you really enjoyed it, and if you did, like, subscribe, and you can follow Georgia on Instagram if you so wish. <laughs> uh, right, I'm the Frank Express. This is Georgia. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.